Monaco famously has a tunnel, and a question we often ask is whether or not a Formula One car is able to drive on the roof of that tunnel. Now, in order to figure that out, we need a few pieces of information. First of all, we need to know what happens when the car is static on the ground. Secondly, we need to know what happens when the car is in motion. And thirdly, what we need to know is how we're going to bring those two pieces of information together to work out what it takes to drive on the roof of the tunnel. Firstly, when the car's stationary and on the road, there's enough force being generated by the road surface to react the weight of the car. When the car's in motion, we've got the downforce pushing down on the car towards its floor, and there's enough force being generated by the structure of the road to support both the car and the downforce. When I now turn the car upside down, the weight of the car means it wants to fall to earth. However, if this car is now in motion, what we need to do is get the downforce to generate enough force just to react to the weight of the car and push it against the roof of the tunnel. What that means is, in order to drive upside down, there is a critical speed that we have to reach at which there is enough downforce in order to push the car up to the roof of the tunnel and allow us to drive there. So in order to do so, what we actually need is a long run up and a loop the loop and the car will generate enough speed and when it reaches its critical speed, it will be able to be driven on the roof of the tunnel.